Hi, how's it going? I'm Daniel Lopez. I'm a third year theologian at St. John's Seminary. My home parish is St. Therese in Alhambra. I would like to share the gospel with you today. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in Paris, to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to him, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you. For the laborer deserves his payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Hear the sick in it and say to them, the kingdom of God is at hand for you. Whatever town you enter and they do not receive you, go out into the streets and say, the dust of your town that clings to our feet, even that we shake off against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom on that day than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In 1912, a group of missionaries went to the Arctic region to evangelize the Inuit natives. However, their evangelization efforts fell well short of their goals. After four years of fruitless results, these French Oblate fathers were ready to pack their bags and to suspend their missionary efforts until a mysterious envelope arrived from Europe. This envelope contained the story of a French nun and particles of dirt from her burial site. The missionary priests decided to continue on with their mission. They gathered a group of natives to catechize them and one of the brothers discreetly sprinkled dirt onto their heads while they were being catechized. The following day, the witch doctor of the village, the biggest enemy to their mission, came forward and requested to be baptized. It was from this moment on that their missionary efforts began to bear fruit. The dirt was from the grave site of the saint who we celebrate today, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. She lived from 1873 to 1897. She entered Carmel at the age of 15 and died at the age of 24. When the time came to write her obituary, her sisters did not know what to write because she didn't do anything special, but yet within that amount of time, she did do many special things. And it is called the little way, doing small things with great love. So small that only our heavenly father will take notice. Today in our gospel, our Lord appoints 72 to be laborers of the harvest, to spread the kingdom of God. Many of us have the desire to do big things with our lives, and that is a good thing. But all of us are called to be missionaries in spreading the kingdom of God. We can complete this mission not by doing this spectacular, beyond the world, extravagant effort, but rather through the hidden and humble way of St. Therese. And mind you, she never left the cloister, but yet, Pope, Paul, Pope Pius XI named her co-patroness of the missions. Even though you and me may never go out to spread the gospel in these remote areas, the little way of St. Therese that is living a life of prayer, offering small daily sacrifices for the sanctification and salvation of souls, gives us the means by which we can participate in the mission of the church. May St. Therese, who promised to spend eternity doing good on earth, pray for us.